This video is going to show you how to set up and use the interactive features of your BoardMaker Plus to create a template for Switch users to have two choices for videos that are downloaded from YouTube. Let me show you what that looks like. Here I have one created with two videos to choose from. One's Barney and one's a kitten and currently I'm in a step scan mode so I'm using one switch to select to scan through the choices and the other switch to choose so I'm using my switch and I'm going back and forth between the two and I decide that I want to see the kitten video then I use my other switch to select that video And as you can see, it plays right on the screen. And this is a YouTube video that I used a uh, piece of software to download and put it right into BoardMaker. When you s and you can see when the video is done, it goes back to the selections. So let's uh, work through this together and set up one of our own. So all I need to do is start a new board. and I can make it any color I want in the background whatever um, is appealing to my students if I have a girl maybe they like pink so we'll go with a pink one then I create two buttons or however many choices um, the student should have now this is a little zoomed out so I'm going to zoom in here a bit Okay. Now what I want to do is make these buttons interactive. All I need to do is double click on a button and go to cool stuff and there you can see play movie. Now right now the only videos that are in here are the ones that I've already done. So we need to go find a video that we know is motivating to our students. So I'm going to go to my internet browser here and go to YouTube and let's find a Spongebob video. Many students like Spongebob and you want to find one that's relatively short because you don't want them sitting there for hours and hours watching the same video. So let's go with the Spongebob theme song here because it's nice and short one minute long. Sounds pretty good to me. So, once we find the video we like, we go up to the top of our browser and right click and copy the link. Then I'm going to go to a website called MediaConverter.org. This is going to allow me to download the YouTube video and this is free, you don't have to sign up for anything. So once you get in here, there's a space here to enter a link. And I'm just going to paste that link in there that I copied from YouTube click OK and then click the green arrow to go to the next step or if you have several videos that you want to do at once you can enter a bunch of links in here before you hit the go to the next step so once you have all the links you want in there then click that green arrow now it's going to ask you what file types you want there are a couple of file types that um, BoardMaker likes one of them is the Windows, the WMB files and another one is the Home Cinema, the AVI files if you use the WMB files they're a little bit more compressed and they fit nicer in your H drive um, which has some limited space so I would go with the WMB files So once you've chosen that, click Start Conversion. Then you get to wait until it's finished downloading. Once it is finished in the Action column and you can click on the Download, do that. Then you'll see it completing down here, getting ready to be able to download. So once it's ready to go and downloaded, click Save As, 
and you'll want to save it in a folder that um, you know you can find it in again. Um, I have a folder in my H drive called Board Maker and I save the videos there. That way I know that all the videos are there each time. So once you have your video saved, then you can go back to Board Maker and click, double click on that Play Movie. And then it already opens for me to this folder, that's because I've navigated there a couple times. But um, you just need to go to your H drive and find that folder where you save the video and then uh, double click on it to put it in there. So right now it says that the movie will play on the button. As you saw in mine, it played on the full screen. You can choose whatever you think would be best. Playing on the button means it just plays within that button space that you've created. There's also a play on message display, which if you have a message display set up, it'll just play in that little area or you can have it play on the board. And that was what I had chosen for that kitten video it, and it plays on the whole board. So whatever option you think is best for you, I'm going to do the play on um, the button so you can see what that looks like. So now we know that video is on there, but the button doesn't really show us anything. It's still blank. So we want to put a symbol on there that matches that. So I'm going to type in Spongebob. Hmm, I thought I had a Spongebob saved in here, but I don't. So let me show you quick then how to get a Spongebob logo in there. So I'm going to open um, just a Google search. Excuse the delay here. Just do a Google image search for Spongebob. And this one looks good. I like this uh, winking Spongebob. And I just grab the image with my left click and drag it down on top of the Board Maker Guide to open the Board Maker program. And I drag it over and drop it on the Symbol Finder window. So now there's my Spongebob symbol. I'm going to add a name to it and, a, and assign some categories. We know this is a TV guy, so that's the category I'm going to assign. You can assign all kinds of categories, whatever um, you think is easiest for you to search. I'm just going to do TV for now. So now we've got the name, a category assigned, and our picture, and click OK. And there's Spongebob. So now I have a Spongebob image in my symbol library. And I'm going to drop it on top of uh, that button. So now, um, when my Switch user uses this board, um, he or she knows that that's a Spongebob video that's going to play. So you would repeat that for however many buttons you have and whatever videos you want to add. And then, once you're finished and you're ready for the student to do this activity, you want to set up the scanning. Up here on your tool menu is dynamic boards and you scroll down to access method and you pick which one um, fits your student. If they're just using a mouse to click, that's direct pointer. If they're using a touch screen, direct touch. Auto scan me me is for a one switch user. That means it just scans through and they only have to hit the switch when it uh, scans over the one they want. There's the step scan which is for a two switch user. That means they have uh, one hand um, to scroll through and one hand to select. And then uh, some other options here. I'm going to leave it at step scan and I have my keys set up so the uh, step is the key is a space bar and the m left mouse click is to activate it. So I'm going to say OK. And now I'm ready to use the board. So I go back up to dynamic boards and I go into use mode. You, I like to use the keyboard shortcuts for this so that's control U to get started and then when you're done with the activity it's control D will bring you back to this spot. So I'm going to hit control U and now I'm in use mode. So using my spacebar, I'm clicking back and forth between the two 
and then using my mouse click the video will play and you can see now it's going to play on the button rather than um, on the full screen and I pushed escape to get out that time that also works um, just because we didn't want to see the whole video so that is how you um, create a board that students can use for scanning for video choices.